Well, we are just weeks away from the start of winter, but this year meteorologists say the winter phenomenon known as El Nino will bring changes to your typical winter weather. Who better to bring in than Ethan Emery to tell us about it? That's right. Yeah, El Nino that occurs every two to seven years. It's making this year's forecast a little different, and here's the latest on what to expect across the country. I did not expect it to look like this. No, not this soon. While the official first day of winter is still weeks away, in some parts of the country, it's felt like old man winter has already settled in for several weeks now. It's cold, snowy, hail, windy. It's just not right. <laughs> Meteorologists say the naturally occurring climate pattern, El Nino, is driving unusual patterns across the country this year. While the shift caused by warmer than average ocean temperatures typically brings wetter and cooler weather to the south, northern states become drier and warmer. But it's important because it changes the uh, tropical rainfall uh, patterns across the Pacific Ocean, which changes the jet stream in the Pacific Ocean and across the uh, North American continent. And so those changes can result in warmer or colder or wetter and drier conditions than say normal uh, general conditions. Already this fall, El Nino has made Texas wetter than normal, improving drought conditions after record high temperatures and little rain throughout the summer months. The El Nino may actually be kicking in in a big way and we may be experiencing more storms and more potential storms like this over the next couple of months. But wetter doesn't necessarily mean more snow. Since for flakes to form, it would still need to be cold. Still, experts say it's best to be ready for changes. And so people need to be prepared for both inside and outside their house with respect to the normal preparation gear, batteries, flashlights, things of that nature, uh, to be prepared for potential you know, power outages or um, getting stuck traveling. El Nino isn't expected to peak until next month or early next year, and it's expected to last through the first half of 2024. Now for the tri-state, this usually means near normal temperatures and below normal precipitation, drier conditions. And of course, when we discuss averages, we're talking about the entire winter season, not just a few days or weeks. Now for the latest forecast updates, you can download that Fox 19 First Alert weather app. Brittany? I would